one's done stick steer before on a, on a large scale in the world. So you see this, this little yellow button here? All you gotta do is push that little yellow button and then say yes on that monitor that you wanna go into stick steer. Now think about it. Why do we do that? Why do we have that extra step? There's never been that before, right? So when someone sees a yellow button, what, is, what, is, what, is, what do people wanna do? They wanna push it, right? They're gonna push the, the yellow button. So this way we push it and say, do you wanna go into stick steer? And you say yes, and then all you're doing is you're pushing it forward like a skid steer. You can take it left, you can take it right, uh, you can kind of rotate if you want. You know, it's just like a skid steer, and it's, and it's really, really handy. Additionally, we talk about cruise control. You push this forward when you're in stick steer, and you click this button here, point, and then you let go, and you're in cruise control. Now, a couple of people have said uh, in, in some of our other presentations, well, yeah, but how am I going to steer the machine? Like when I put my car into cruise control, it keeps the speed going, but I still have to drive the car. Same thing here. You can still adjust if you want to go left or right when you're in cruise control. Just like a car, if you push the brakes or the accelerator, it's going to jump it out of uh, cruise control as well. So those are those are not only safety things, but it's just user mentality, making it easy to, to understand what people are expecting and what they're going to see when they run it on something they've never run before.